All right, back to track side here. Dave Pruitt with the uh, candidate for New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy just to my right. And uh, Phil, talk to us. Uh, our current governor has never made his way to the winter circle after more than $100 million in investment in this facility. How do you see uh, in the state of New Jersey, the future in racing, both urban and standard, Brad? I think it's quite bright. I first of all want to thank my friends Jeff Gorrell and Mike Galata, who uh, had the inspiration to get me here tonight. I've had a magical evening. Uh, all right. This, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, this is a, a gem in our state. Uh, and I think our best days in the racing industry, whether it's standard bread or thoroughbred or, or whatever uh, version uh, of the sport, the best days in, in, uh, in the horse industry and the equine industry are ahead of us. But we do need leadership that, that appreciates that, that understands what you have to do to move that needle. And I'm honored to be, uh, to, to be raising my hand to do that. We appreciate that, and as you well know, we uh, seem to be at a severe competitive disadvantage with the uh, casinos that have taken over in New York and Pennsylvania to fund purses and fund the industry. How do you see New Jersey coming back uh, to the uh, preeminent uh, state that it once was? A couple of things. Number one, it's one of the principal reasons why I supported North Jersey Gaming that was on the ballot last year. Uh, I think that's one very specific way we can push back on that. My dear friend, uh, Governor Dick Cody is here. He's got some, uh, he's always been a leader in this industry with some very good legislation uh, uh, that he's championed and continues to champion. And frankly, whether it's in the equine industry or more, more broadly in our economy, I'm sick of losing out to our neighbors. I'm sick of hearing that jobs uh, went to Pennsylvania or New York or people moved to Pennsylvania or New York. New Jersey is one of the most compelling states in the nation. And I think with the right leadership, this industry and more broadly the economy in the state can come roaring back and will then be reattracting some of the folks who left. And again, I think the best days for this industry are in front of us, not behind us. We look forward to that. Well, it was great having you here on one of our biggest nights of the season. We look forward to having you back here often as well. Thank you.